Welcome to This Is Not Happening. I'm your host, Roy Wood Jr. Uh-oh. How? Oh, I kill everybody. What? Just listen to the fucking story. Yo, is this crazy? I have no idea, but it's fucking fun, man. I know that. The man, Ari Shafir, was kind enough to hand over the reins to me. And what you will see tonight is fucking good-ass storytelling. And she starts to go like a fucking horse into my face. Tonight, we are telling true stories about shame. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 Not playing. I don't know if you guys have ever cock-blocked a rapist before. Fuck that. I don't have health insurance. Well, that's, that's, you know, pretty bullshit. The next 18 messages on my phone were dudes really trying hard to fuck me. All the signs were there. You know, she was distant. She wasn't returning my phone calls as quickly as she used to. Her pussy tasted like dick. You think you hit rock bottom? And I just stared into the eye of my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's butthole. All right. So I got a 45 pointed right in the middle of my chest, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get shot in Arizona. You can get jokes anywhere. The motherfuckers coming up here to tell you stuff that's gonna get them uninvited from Thanksgiving. So in that moment, I made the decision. I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna fucking kill my dad. It's terrible that someone's laughing at that part. <laughs> You're brilliant. If I snorkeled on Molly with Donald Trump, I would be up here right now being like, you don't know him like I do. Oh, by the way, I've fucked a midget. I guess the president figured that would be a good business competition. <laughs> oh, shit. Crack is addictive. What did they put in it? Cigarettes? So now this dude's on top of me trying to bite my face off. Oh, you goddamn baby. When you hear somebody that's trying to kill you, ooh, it feels great. Hey, for old time's sake, let's just drive to Mexico and commit a federal crime. Okay, guys, this, this ain't enough to show you that there's something very wrong. And that's how I became the host of the new season of This Is Not Happening. <laughs>